I've done about 50 interviews in my all electric podcast plugged in. And the last thing I ask each guest is what the tipping point for electric vehicle adoption in Canada is going to be. I've had various answers, but the most popular answer is this, an all electric pickup truck. Four out of five top selling vehicles in Canada last year were pickup trucks. So clearly for EV adoption to take hold in Canada, pickup trucks are going to have to factor in. That's been a mute point until this year because there have not been any electric pickup trucks. Lots of talk, Nikola, Lordstown, Rivian, Tesla. Well, here we are, we have one. It's for sale in Canada in probably about a month. Deliveries are happening. It is the 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning. The highest compliment I can give the F-150 Lightning after spending about five hours behind the wheel on highways, back roads, and off-roading in and around San Antonio, Texas, is that it drives very much like its gas-powered siblings. That's by design. However, thanks to the new independent rear suspension, it is much more stable over the bumps than its petrol stablemates, with very little of that classic pickup truck rear end bounce and skip when traveling at speed over uneven roadway features such as railway tracks. The lower center of gravity, thank you battery pack, also translates to stable and solid handling characteristics of the Lightning. That electric powertrain also provides some pretty impressive get up and go with zero to 100 kilometer an hour times ranging between four and five seconds, depending on the battery pack. Trims available follow the same levels as the gas powered F-150 and include the XLT, the Lariat and the Platinum. There is also a stripped down Lightning Pro model available to fleet customers only. As to pricing, the standard range battery Pro starts at 58,000. The standard range XLT starts at 68,000. In terms of the extended range battery for those models, you're looking at $81,380 to start. Power in that standard range battery pack has a maximum output of 452 horsepower, while the extended range pack produces an impressive 580 horsepower. The torque number for each pack is 775 pound-feet of torque, the most of any F-150 pickup ever produced. Range figures, just recently confirmed by the EPA, are 370 kilometers for the standard range Lightning and a very impressive 550 kilometers for the extended range XLT and Lariat models. The Platinum model only comes with the extended range battery option and has a full charge range of 451 kilometers. It should be noted that when the EPA tests pickup trucks, they put in a thousand pounds of payload. In terms of charging capability, Using a 150 kilowatt DC fast charger, Ford says the extended range F-150 Lightning will get up to 87 kilometers of range in 10 minutes and charge from 15% to 80% in just over 40 minutes. The extended range F-150 Lightning comes with a Ford Charge Station Pro home charger. So in other words, you get a home charger for the price of the extended range, whichever model you buy. One of the more interesting aspects of the Lightning with the extended range battery is what is called a home integration system that can store 131 kilowatt hours of energy and deliver up to 9.6 kilowatts of power back into your house in the event of a power outage. To do this, you'll need an integration system installed in your home. With Ford Intelligent Backup Power and the home integration system, the plugged-in F-150 Lightning automatically kicks in to power your home if the grid goes down. One of the primary uses for a pickup truck is hauling and towing. According to Ford, 75% of their Canadian F-150 customers tow at some point. And the Lightning is designed with that in mind and features the strongest steel ever put in an F-150. The maximum available payload capability is 2,235 pounds and the maximum towing capacity is 10,000 pounds in the extended range models. There's no figure on it coming from Ford, but I'm told that the range with 10,000 pounds towing will be cut in half. The F-150 Lightning also debuts available Pro Trailer Hitch Assist which automatically controls steering, throttle, and brake inputs to assist in hitching a trailer. Another selling feature of the Lightning, particularly for those who use their trucks for work, is Pro Power On Board that features built-in electrical outlets to directly power a variety of tools, electronics, and appliances. Standard on base trims is 2.4 kilowatts of power with the option for more, while Lariat and Platinum series come standard with 9.6 kilowatts of power, a combination of up to 2.4 kilowatts available through the front and up to 7.2 kilowatts through outlets in the cab and bed. And speaking of that power front, the Lightning takes that unique EV feature to the next level, offering a 400 liter water resistant space that is lockable and can hold 400 pounds of payload. Ford claims it can also hold two sets of golf clubs, but I'd need to see that to believe it. 
Unlike so many electric vehicles, apart from some gauge displays, there are no visual cues in the cabin that you are driving an electric vehicle. That is also by design. One of the strengths, in my opinion, of the F-150 Lightning is it looks, inside and out, very much like an F-150. That's what truck customers want. Just as that exterior of the Lightning is unmistakably an F-150, the cabin design from the switches to the seats to the storage areas are almost identical to its gas-powered stablemate. After having spent two days driving the F-150 Lightning all over parts of Texas, I think the most surprising thing to me is how much it behaves, looks, drives, feels like the gas-powered model. That is a very good thing for Ford. The last thing they want to do is alienate their most important buyers. Just to remind people, the F-150 has been the top-selling vehicle in Canada for the last 56 years. With this Lightning, my expectation is, as the electrification of pickup trucks continues, the F-150 will continue to be a top seller for Ford. So now the big question on your mind is, how do I get one? Well, if you didn't reserve one for $100, a hand raiser, you're probably out of luck for quite some time. 200,000 have been reserved in North America. We don't know the real breakout for Canada, but Ford people tell me it's usually about 10%, so let's say 20,000. They also tell me the pickup rate, the people that actually complete the deal, is about 60%. So that's 12,000 trucks. So you might be able to get one, but my feeling is most of those people, probably more than 60%, are actually gonna buy this vehicle and can't wait to take delivery. Unfortunately, that 20,000 number is over the next two years of sales. So realistically, you're probably looking at a couple of years if you haven't raised your hand for one of these. But having driven it today, the wait for the 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning will be worth it. For driving.ca, I'm Andrew McCready, reporting here from deep in the heart of Texas. For all things EV, be sure to subscribe to our Plugged In podcast and check out our site daily. We have lots of EV information every day.